For me, getting into my career was a difficult path. Um, I studied at Welbeck Defence Sixth Form College, which is a college designed to create A-level students to go to Sandhurst um, or the other forces. However, unfortunately, I got medically discharged whilst at university. Um, so after that, I started applying for engineering roles as I did mechanical engineering at university. I applied for quite a few engineering roles and in my spare time worked in retail. Um, and when I got my first engineering role as a project engineer at Caltex Unipart, creating fuel tanks for JLR. Um, and after that, I took some time uh, within Unipart to work as a digital project manager. And from there, I then moved to where I am now, which is at McLaren as a senior logistics engineer. A typical day for me as a senior logistics engineer in McLaren is we're responsible for all parts um, getting to line. So we're responsible for the parts as soon as they come into the building, through the warehousing downstairs and up to line side delivery. So that includes any sillages, parts protection or packaging to ensure the parts not damaged and to make sure that they can reach the car for point of fit, which is where they are fitted to the vehicle. So we're in charge of making sure all parts are at the line side um, on time and I personally work on future vehicles. So for me, that's any vehicles that are coming into McLaren on new cars that we're building. At school, um, I was quite academic, so I really enjoyed school. Um, I really liked the sort of maths, engineering and science topics. Um, and I found it really interesting um, and I really enjoy learning. So for me, school was, school was great. Um, for me, maths has been a really big help. So from my perspective, um, I did mechanical engineering at university. And for me, engineering is just maths being applied to the real world. So you take all your kind of theoretical math situations and then you apply them to the real world, which is what engineering is. So it has helped me within my career from an engineering perspective and also from a day-to-day -day perspective from working out the packaging required in a packaging loop or the amount of stillages we need to doing FMEAs, which is failure mode analysis. Um, all of it requires maths. For me, the transferable skills that I need um, and the transferable skills that I use within my day job is the soft skills are really important. So being able to be very self-aware and also have emotional intelligence um, and be a real people person because it's um, you can't really teach that. So it's really easy to teach people to learn, um, but actually to teach people to be engaging and be positive is quite difficult. So it's really important to get all of those skills because they're really transferable across any industry. Also with my mechanical engineering, my maths um, A-level that I did, I can utilize that in many different ways from formulas and Excel and creating Excel documents for finance to you know, working out the size of space required for stillages, etc. So all of those math skills are really, really transferable across every sort of aspect of my job. My best piece of advice would be to get as much education as you can. Um, you'll get plenty of experience once you get into the real world and you get your first job, but actually having that backbone of education and a, a degree or A-levels in the topics that you like. And for me, picking a topic that you are interested in is the most important thing because you're gonna put your whole effort into it and chances are you're going to do better at something that you enjoy um, than forcing yourself into something that's maybe not your strong point. Um, Academics are not for everyone and some people are stronger at the more soft skills, um, other people are much more hands-on so that's where apprenticeships are really important. So for me it would just be to continue learning as much as you can. For me the best leaders that I've ever worked with are people who are constantly learning, constantly trying to improve themselves be it from a personal perspective or an academic perspective. 